Hey, uh, and welcome to Dinosaur Draw Number 48, Sauropod. Today we're going to draw building on the techniques we've learned in earlier dinosaur draw videos with one of the most difficult dinosaurs to draw, which is the sauropod. That is the long neck, long tail dinosaur, which was popular in the Triassic and Cretaceous period of time. Essentially, what we're going to do here is start with a Jurassic shape, which is the classic circle, like that, like so. And what you're going to add to that stroke is the very distinctive triangular shape of the dinosaur foot. If you want to learn a little bit more about how I get this shape really easy on that foot, you can go back to dinosaur video number four and five, where we introduce the shapes. But now, for now, the dinosaur foot is going to be in one quick move like that, one quick move like that, and then you have your dinosaur leg. The body of the story pod is much easier than some of the other dinosaurs because it is so smooth in shape and so differently textured. So you need to do a smooth stroke like this and a smooth stroke like that. One more time, it's a smooth stroke like this and a smooth stroke like that. Basically, the dinosaur's outlines are going to be the silhouette of the sauropod dinosaur that could be either at this point a camera saw, an ultrasaur, a brachiopod, or one of the longer diplodonchus. We're going to make his neck and tail extend from opposite ends of the body. That way, we can decide at one point where the head is going to be, and that's going to be placed with the greatest of finesse, making his two eyes part of the larger picture so he can see, look around in his environment, make sure that there's a predator or something that's not going to eat him right there. We also want to give him something to eat, so we're going to add plants to his environment. Now the plants, as we learned in dinosaur videos number 8 and dinosaur video number 16, where I introduced plants of the Triassic, you can go back and learn how to draw pine cones, non-flowering plants, different conifers, which were around during that period. Now we have the last part of the dinosaur, which is because we're going to do a male dinosaur story pod, we're going to have two horns. So the double horn, bo-bomp, bo -bomp. And you can color in from the base and shade them because the sun is now at the zenith. So this is a pretty hot day. He's an exhausted dinosaur. Now shade in the bottom of the horns. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Last thing we got to do before our dinosaur is complete is we're going to add a little bit of color just to make it just to make it absolutely clear that this is a dinosaur of the period. Now we don't know what dinosaur actually did look like in their color and shape variety. So this is the best approximation but we're going to use green to blend him in because this environment at the time would have been very green. So as you can see we've given him a pattern that would allow him to surreptitiously assume part of the natural aspect of that world, which is the best as we could scientifically infer from such clues as are in the fossil record. And last but not least, we want to give him a distinguishing characteristic, which would be in this case, a dinosaur handbag. So we're going to do a very small dinosaur handbag on the bottom. Just one smooth stroke for the handle and a box shape for the bag. Then you can add a Louis Vuitton logo like that. Bam! Thanks for watching Dinosaur Draws.